Did Jamie Foxx just confirm he's playing a different version of Electro in the MCU? Spider-Man Far From Home toyed with the notion of the Marvel multiverse. Now it's looking likely the friendly neighborhood webhead is indeed pivotal in that regard. As its title states, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness will formally bring the multiverse into the Marvel Cinematic Universe (MCU). The latest Spider-Man 3 casting might further support that theory. Jamie Foxx will make a shocking return as the villain Electro. Due to the coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic, the MCU has yet to officially launch Phase 4. So fans definitely have been working with lowered expectations with regard to news. Stay right there, stay right there. Just be careful. The great is the electricity. Just... I just... I just wanted everyone to see me. Still, no one expected the Hollywood Reporter to drop the news that Jamie Foxx would reprise his role as Max Dillon Naka Electro in the MCU's untitled third Spider-Man movie. Fox played the electricity-powered villain in 2014's The Amazing Spider-Man 2. <laughs> Starring Andrew Garfield and Emma Stone, that sequel was intended to kick off its own shared universe. Sony dropped plans for a Sinister Six villain team-up movie after The Amazing Spider-Man 2 failed to meet expectations. But what does Fox's casting mean for the MCU? The actor offered some key details on his character's reappearance. Sony and Marvel are so far remaining mum on Fox's casting. But the Oscar-winning actor himself took to Instagram, via comic book resources, to confirm his involvement in Spider-Man 3. Even better, he shared a bit of detail on what fans can expect from Electro this time. Tell Spidey let's run it back. Fox wrote on Instagram. Super excited to be part of the new Marvel Spider-Man installment, can't wait for y'all to check the new one. And I won't be blue in this one, but a thousand percent badass in addition, Fox shared several photos of what seemed to be concept art for the new film. One much talked about image even leans into the multiverse idea. Garfield's, Tobey Maguire's, and Tom Holland's versions of Spider-Man all gaze up at Electro's face in the clouds. Since Fox's post has since been deleted, it could be considered a big spoiler. Will Spider-Man 3 open up the multiverse or bring a new Electro? The other big detail in Fox's post is the reveal that Electro won't be blue in the upcoming Spider-Man 3. In The Amazing Spider-Man 2, the accident that gave Max Dillon his power resulted in him having blue skin. Moreover, he was able to shoot blue lightning bolts. If Fox indeed won't be blue in the new movie, that could mean one of two things. Either he is still playing the very same Electro as last time, albeit with a character redesign, or he is actually playing the Max Dillon who resides in the world of Tom Holland's Spider-Man. It's my birthday, everybody else is leaving, why do I have to stay? Because you're special. It's my, I mean... Mr. Smythe. Happy birthday. After all, J.K. Simmons appeared in the mid-credits scene of Spider-Man. The brutal murder of Mysterio, an interdimensional warrior who gave his life to protect our planet and who will no doubt go down in history as the- Far From Home is what seems to be an alternate version of J. Jonah Jameson. To be fair though, the movie doesn't explicitly address whether this is the case, as the rules of the MCU's multiverse have yet to be established. Hope you liked that video and if you haven't subscribed this channel, do subscribe it and we will see you in the next video.